simply to keep him in the game. John's heart and lungs are working at their limit. But by doing so, they're placing him in mortal danger. Blood is being forced faster and faster through his diseased coronary arteries. Flowing at five times their normal speed, blood cells eddy and swirl around his plaques. Bombarded by red blood cells, one fragile plaque is under unbearable strain. Its thin membrane is ripped open. Within moments, blood cells start to clot around the rupture. Anywhere else in John's body, this clotting response might save his life. But here, in his narrow artery, the effect is quite the opposite. The clot in John's artery traps more and more passing blood cells. It grows bigger, and the flow of blood to John's heart slows down. Downstream, the heart muscle cells are in peril. Their oxygen supply is dwindling just when they need it most. His starving cells send pain signals to his brain. But John has never experienced pain from his heart before. To him, it feels just like indigestion. Jimmy, your lunch too fast, John. Perhaps the old man better off in gold. He has no idea that this is the start of a heart attack. The growing clot is now blocking two-thirds of his artery. John's indigestion is getting worse. feels a vice-like pain in his left arm. His brain is confused, overloaded with the escalating pain signals coming from his heart. For the first time in his life, the regular beat of John's heart is under threat. of four million muscle cells is running low on oxygen. John, what's up? What's the matter? Five minutes after his heart attack began, John's body is struggling to deal with the crisis.